Number 25, solve the system. If the system has indefinitely many solutions, write the solution set with x arbitrary. All right, so we have two equations in our system. The first is 3x plus 6y equals 7. And here we have 6x plus 12y equals 5 for our second equation. Um, I think with 24, we eliminated the x variable. So let's go ahead and in 25, eliminate the y variable. Again, we know if we're going to eliminate one of the variables, we need the coefficients to be additive inverses. All right, so here we have a positive 6. Here we have a positive 12. Uh, let's go ahead and make the first equation have a negative 12 as the coefficient for y. And to do that, we will multiply the whole equation by negative 2. So if we, I'll go ahead and rewrite the system down here. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times positive 6y is minus 12y. And negative 2 times positive 7 is negative 14. And we didn't do anything to the second equation, so we can go ahead and just write that underneath. And we know we're going to add vertically. So negative 6x plus 6, um, plus, negative 6x plus 6x goes away. Negative 12y plus 12y goes away. And so on the left-hand side, we have 0 equals. And negative 14 plus 5 is negative 9. So what do we have here? Well. Based on this, we have 0 equals negative 9. Is that a true statement? Does 0 equal negative 9? No, that's false, right? We know that's not true. And so when you are solving a system, if you get a false statement like this, you know that your solution is going to be the null set. Or in this case, there's no solution to the system. All right, There is no combination ordered pair x, y that will make uh, this system be true. All right, and so number 25, false, which means there is no solution.